In this video, I want to talk about one of the most common questions I get from students, which is how to get better at two-handed voicings. I'm going to start with pentatonic voicings and give a framework for practicing and using them creatively. So to start, we stack perfect fourths until we get five notes and a pentatonic scale. Depending on your perspective, you may call this either an F minor or A flat major pentatonic scale. I prefer F minor. From every degree of the pentatonic scale, we can stack every other note to form two-handed open voicings. And lastly, to help spatial framing between the hands, I like doubling the top note on the bottom so it's easier to track how the hands move together. I'll talk more about spatial framing later, but once you get better at these voicings, you can easily remove the sixth note. And so here's your first practice goal. Learn to play these voicings ascending and descending. After you've learned this exercise, there's still lots of work to do, but one thing I want to mention is that for every exercise you learn, I think you should try to complement it with some kind of free creative play. So using the exercise as a more general framework, but having fun playing it. This opens up many different physical relationships that you wouldn't otherwise learn just from playing exercises. So I might wiggle my fingers through them differently. Or play more rhythmically with the right and left hand. One way you can really open this up musically is relate these voicings to a harmony. I'm thinking about this pentatonic scale in relation to F minor, so I'll sustain an F in the low end. If you like thinking about it in A flat major, then sustain A flat in the low end. Then try switching between them. Improvise freely back and forth between F minor and A flat major. Actually, the pentatonic scale is very versatile and these voicings can be related to many different harmonies. Try a few of these playing the structured exercise in relation to different roots, but then playing with it musically. Have fun moving your hands through them and combining different chord progressions together. In the next video, I'll expand on this framework and show how you can make more difficult exercises and combine pentatonic voicings in interesting ways.